Say hi, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. I'm jumping. Feet first. For me, having no control for is is awful because this child was given to me by my mother. My whole job as a mother is to protect him. And I can't do anything about him getting weaker. Is is horrible. It's horrible. Alex Yarrow lives like most 13-year-olds. He plays video games with his friends. He was the offensive MVP of his soccer team, the Avengers, last season. Led them in assists. Alex, good power, buddy. And he loves, absolutely loves, USC football. Just like I usually watch SC football game, college football, more fun than NFL. Ever since he started watching football, like watching him watch a, a football game, he lives and dies with SC. Alex grew up a sports fan, both watching and playing. His father, Jorge, was his first t-ball coach. I wasn't expecting this picture. This was our first year of t-ball. Um, and you can tell he's smiling. <laughs> so as a father, you know, your hopes and dreams and, you know, just the, the, the ability to like, hey, I'm gonna coach my son in T-ball, we're gonna have this bond together. It's, it's a memory that's never gonna leave. Like, uh, it's just, it was a magical moment for me, it's something I can't experience now. You don't understand what you have until you lose it. As a toddler and into that first T-ball season, mom and dad, Valerie and Jorge, noticed that Alex wasn't moving as well as other children his age. They had him checked out by a specialist when he was five. Over the phone, we were told that he was confirmed with Duchenne muscular dystrophy. And uh, it was the worst day of your life, that's all I can tell you. You know, as a parent, you go, you go numb. Like, and I was, it's kind of an out-of-body experience because I'm, I'm hearing the words and I'm just watching Alex, like I'm just looking at him. How do you feel? Good. Does it hurt? hurt? No. Mm -hmm. If you say my child has Duchenne, no one can pronounce it. No, what is it? What? What is it? What does it do? What we want is every time we do this, we want you to be feeling a stretch, OK? One of those uh, diseases where we know its outcome, we know the disease course. Unfortunately, Duchenne is, is uniformly fatal. So Alexander, I want to take a look at how you stand, OK? How long is he going to live? How, what's the quality of his life? What can he do? What can he do? I think about Duchenne every single day. I hide it deep some days, but it's always there. The life expectancy for those with Duchenne is about 25 years old. Over the last eight years, Alex has gone to countless doctor's appointments and been a part of a clinical trial. But at the age of 11, he lost the ability to walk. And he never questioned why. Why, why, why did I stop walking? Why did, why did this happen? Why can't I, why? He just knows he's, he's special. You're gonna go The up. day Alex stopped walking, you know, was an emotional day for all of us. Like, we knew, like, those footsteps were never gonna be heard in this house going back and forth. Alex has this way of smiling and of, of understanding things. And he looked at me and he goes, Dad, I'm OK. So when he stopped walking, he's not the kid that said, why me? He looked at me and said, I got this, Dad. The dystrophy is killing the muscles in Alex's body. And that leads to fibrosis and tightening of his muscles. Yeah. Okay. He has to go through many rigorous activities to lengthen them every day. Some kicks, get those arms going. There you go, nice including regular aqua therapy to keep moving despite his body's weakness and stretching every night in an effort to slow the damage. Relax, relax. Sports have remained paramount to Alex. And through this taxing process, his teams and favorite players have been there to help him. So I actually thought I was just going to be like a high school basketball player. My mom told me it's just the high school basketball player coming and then I come in and I and I thought he was really tall but I, and then I noticed he was Kobe. So what's that's getting? What you doing? 
<laughs> he just talked to me about his final game, and I told him I watched his last game. I don't know if Alex has any bad days. Um, the energy that he brings, the smile that he brings, the positive influence that he brings, uh, I think he inspires everybody, including myself. Alex and his family started a foundation to help others with Duchenne, Walking Strong, that has created a relationship with USC football. The partnership has become special for Alex and the program. So, Alex. We would like to offer you the opportunity to be on our roster this year. Here's a football sign by every one of our players. Thank you for being a part of our team, buddy. Thank you. Coach asked him if he, you know, wanted to be on the team, and, they, and he gave him an offer letter, and he asked him if he would sign it, and he said yes, and the crowd went crazy. The smile says it all. And it was, it's just a million, they call it a million dollar smile that he's got. He never stops smiling. He just, you know, no matter what the situation, no matter what the circumstances, he's always smiling. So I got this when I was 10 years old, like I was in fourth grade. And the principal announced my name first and, and it kind of got nervous for a second. Like I was like, that's me. It says, noted for feats of courage and nobility of purpose. One who is bold, solid, and accomplished, yet modest, an inspiration to all. 